Welcome to Northwest Profiles, a look at people, places, and events of interest in the Inland Northwest. Quick reflexes, agility, and stamina, all bundled up in a small package, ready to head livestock for their master. Teeter, an 11-year-old border collie, has been doing this type of work for many years, and always with one main person at the helm giving orders, his owner, Rick Rodolph. Training working dogs in the Spokane area for over 25 years, Rodolph began to notice them while training horses for roping. I got my first dog so I could send a dog after the cattle to bring them back to the rope and chutes while I was changing horses so I didn't have to mess with it just because I was lazy. <laughs> That's the story of my life, <laughs> you know, and the, the better my dogs are, the lazier I get. On the top of the heap of Rick's pack of dogs is his favorite, Tater. Oh, he's the number one dog. He's the number, I've had some dogs that are, that have been really close to being as good as him. His actual training didn't start till he was about nine months old. I took him to a competition when he was just about a year old and, uh, and he was ready, you know. To get to that level it takes about two years and it's just tuning up and constant work and refinement. Border Collies are the number one breed of choice, a hardworking, intelligent breed that Rodolph says can do the work of three or four people on horses. They're sharp, they got a good mind, they pick up things pretty quick. They're just, they're fun to be around. The good ones live for it. I mean, that's, that's all. And, and in some respects, for that reason, they don't make real good pets. If they don't have something to do, they'll make something to do. And uh, usually that'll get somebody in trouble. I look for desire, the want to, that they don't care about anything else but working. When you're out there with cows or sheep or whatever, that that's all they can think of. Captain, come on. Yeah, shh, shh, shh. Training sessions, Rodolph says, may last 10 to 15 minutes, even though they can work all day long. See how he goes around bringing that one to me? That's what I want. He's going back, bringing this one. To Get up there, Captain. Captain. Yeah, and you have to know when to quit to make it fun. Um, because that's, that's the bottom line is when you're starting a dog, you want to make it fun for them so they can hardly wait to come back the next time. Border Collies are primarily a heading dog. They are bred to, bring, to gather and bring stuff to you. The hardest things for a lot of folk to understand is, you know, you're trying to drive, drive the, uh, a bunch of cows through a gate and there's the dog on the other side in the middle of the gate. And, and they don't understand that if you would stand in the middle of the gate, that dog would bring them cattle right over the top of you because they're, you know, they want to bring stuff to you. And that's how I start my dogs when I'm training, is teach them to stay on the other side and bring stuff to me. Yeah, I'm, I, I'll jump in front of him when he goes to the side. Now he's, I'm forcing him back to stay back behind him. Once they learn that position over there, then we'll start teaching the flanks, a right flank and a left flank, and, and start the direction. Let's say these are the cows, okay? He's got a command that'll go this way around the cattle, so he'll go all the way to the circle this way, or he's got a command that'll tell him to go this way. He's got a command to walk up to the cattle, one to lay down, one to get back farther away from him. He's got all sorts, he's even got a command, he's even got a command to bite. And for all the voice commands, for every voice command he has, he also has a whistle command. You can tell he kind of likes kids, doesn't he? He likes to be hugged and he likes to hug. Working and training aren't the only things that Rick does with his dogs. Public appearances also figure into the mix. See, she just keeps them all the way, all the time, no matter where I move, she stays on the other side and brings them to me. Um, it's fun. I like working with kids a lot. And that's how I, that's how I teach them to start with. I like getting out and uh, showing the dogs. One of Rick's first dogs was a dog named Shelly. Rick competed in stock dog trials with her in the beginning, giving him national recognition in the process. I was offered lots of money for her, lots of different times. And uh, same as with Tater, you know, there's just some dogs that you can't put a price on. 
no matter, you know, they, they, just, they just hold a place. These days, stock dog competitions for Rick are few and far between. Having finished on the top of the heap in the Nationals in the past, he's content on doing public appearances, working on training new dogs like Tater and Shelley, and of course, making a living doing something that is special to him. Remember I showed some of you the whistle? Since he's right so close to the road and by the traffic, I'm gonna use this so he can hear me better. I enjoy the dogs. I enjoy training them. I enjoy seeing the results of what you can do. And, uh, and I'm, I'm, I do pretty good at it. I mean, I, it's fun. I, I've, I've got an ability to do some things, and so it's, I enjoy it. If you have a story idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSPS-TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington, 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSPS Public Television.